Hello and welcome to what I hope will be another useful Elecraft KX2 video for those of you interested in the Elecraft KX2 or those of you who own it. Uh, what I'm talking about today is how to assign a function to the PFN button. And you can see the ATU button has PFN down here in yellow. And as we've learned before, when you long press on a button, it will activate whatever the yellow marking is underneath it. So if we long press ATU for a few seconds, it will activate whatever PFN is assigned to. PFN is the button that we can assign things to if we want to make it a quick function rather than having to hunt through a menu. And this, this is a great feature. I like it. Right now I have it assigned to the receive EQ and that's not normally where I have it. I actually normally assign it to the RF gain. And the reason I do that is um, I like to kind of ride the RF gain a bit while I'm listening to audio. And uh, I do this on my Yaesu FT950 and it's just a habit. I use the uh, the RF gain as the volume knob, actually. That's practically how it works. Um, couldn't do this with the KX2, I thought, and I was really concerned and it was a big issue for me when I purchased it. I was actually almost dissuaded from buying it because of that, but I read someone mentioned that you can assign it to the PFN button and uh, it's not a problem. And I will say also that this being an SDR radio, I really think that you don't have to ride the RF gain so much, uh, but you can, and you can make it work. Now let me show you how that works. I'm going to go into, uh, I'll just normalize it there, and let's pretend we're going into the menu, and we have to long press this disk button, which is the menu, if we long press it. And there we are, and right now I have it on, on receive EQ. And as I search through the different things on here, you can find one of them is called RF gain, and there it is. You can actually adjust that. Let me turn the radio volume up. You can hear the RF gain go up and down and you can adjust it quite a bit. You see how that works. I don't have an antenna in right now. However, uh, it does make a difference and I do like it. But I also I don't like hunting menus. So what you can do if you want to assign the RF gain to that PFN button, it's very simple. You just select whatever you want to assign to that PFN button, like RF gain, once you're in the menu. And then, long press and hold this button down. And you can find this in page 25 of the menu. It says, um, hold the PFN to assign it to this menu entry. Okay, so here we go. We're going to hold it down. PF1 set. Did you see it say that? Okay, so now I'll get out of this menu. I'll just move around a bit, blah, blah, blah. Now we'll go to the PFN and I'll hold it. There it is. We're at the RF gain and we can adjust it here. Very nice, very, very useful. Okay, so a very good thing. You can press it again and just get back into the frequency mode. I want to change the RF gain once I've found a signal. Hold it down. There it is. Okay, and the RF gain is there. And it works very, very well. Uh, my Elecraft KX2 receives signals better in a noisy environment than my Yaesu FT950 does. It's really a fabulous radio. I'm very comfortable using the RF gain this way um, because I don't have to ride it as much with it being an SDR. That's my personal feeling. Uh, uh, but I still like to ride it sometimes and it's right there if I want to. Now again, I can always change that setting if I want to change it to let's say transmission or transmit compression okay right now i have it at the max 25. uh if i want to reassign it then i just hold down on that and it resets the pfn button i'll get out of the menu we'll tune around a bit and then i want to get to that transmission compression and there it is as my pfn button very simple very nice now i'll go back in again to the menu and i will reset that to rf gain PF1 set, okay, tune around, and there it is, my RF gain. Very nice. So I hope this has taught you something about how to set the PFN button and also work with the RF gain, which I do enjoy uh, riding on the fly, so to speak. Anyway, I'll uh, try to post more Elecraft KX2 videos as time goes on. So thank you for watching. Enjoy your radios. Bye-bye.